Hello and welcome to another episode of New Gameplay. Today I'm your host Jeff Dork, joined today by a full house. We got Serial Vasquez. I'm Charles in charge. We've got Leo Vader. Hello. More importantly though, we've got Mizuguchi himself and hey. Mark McDonald. Yay! Yeah. I'm trying so hard to <laughs> make good gameplay here that, uh, yes, if I sound weird and off, uh, it's yeah. because I have learned how difficult it is to play a, a good game of Tetris. <laughs> yeah, I, and the, the, world, the Tetris World Championship was like last weekend, so the stakes are extra high. for We the were there. Yeah. Yeah. We've just come from there. It was amazing. New champion. How uh, heavy yeah. is wow. that crown, Mark? Uh, the uh, heavy is the crown, the head that wears the, uh, the, the, the Tetris crown. That is true. The, um, that block, that big T block, is mm -hmm. that what you're talking about? That's yeah. a, it's, a, it's a decent weight. All it's right. not like a the Game Awards award heavy, but it's uh, I'm gonna say about yeah ten pounds. All right, yeah. looks good on your shelf. It's got a heft. It's got a heft For to sure. it. Uh, first and second place. So yeah, so Jonas, the longtime champion, um, was dethroned by a 16 year old wonderkund who uh, has uh, had a unique play style as well. Who plays with. Uh, both thumbs on the D-pad. Wow. Yeah. I'm illustrating that He's right now. He's showing us, but so. like viewers won't be able to see it. Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah. But, you can try um, it at home. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, I want to learn more about that because I they just heard that as the tournament was wrapping and I'm like, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, so Tetris Effect. Yeah. Here it is. So We're it's sort of like a, a, a more stylistic version of Tetris than we might have seen before uh, with, a lot, with a lot of very nice looking effects here. Yeah, so yeah, you can play uh, in VR or not. Right now, we're playing not in VR. Um, it goes up to 4K on a. You know what? I won't really want to get a Tetris here, so I'm going to do that. It goes up to 4K on a PS4 Pro uh, when it's in 2D, so it's kind of nice. Um, but also, VR is also very nice. A lot of a lot of 3D effects. If you're playing in VR, you're probably wearing headphones, which we hope everybody does because music is obviously a really really important part of this game. Uh, it is a Mizuguchi game, of course, mm -hmm. but um, as hopefully you'll be able to see here from some of this footage, um, if I don't kill myself uh, <laughs> trying to talk over it, um, everything that I'm doing is adding to the music. So when I move the pieces left and right, that's making different sounds that can change definitely per stage. Sometimes within the same stage, even they change. Um, when I drop a piece, that does something that's gonna cause a background effect, et cetera. So you see there, I got uh, 30 out of 30 lines, and now I'm gonna move on to the next stage here. Uh, I should back up also and explain, like we're in journey mode right now, which is the uh, one mode of the game that we've shown so far. But today we're gonna show a bunch more other modes. We are showing new stages here that people have seen before. Yeah. So at E3, we had uh, like a four stage kind of sampler, uh, just to get people an idea of what the game is about. But um, now that we're pretty much done with the game, we're kind of just uh, blowing it all open and showing there's 27 modes. Um, really? Yeah, I'm sorry, 27 stages oh, okay. in journey mode. And journey mode, again, it used to be called story mode. Um, and that, I know that sounds kind of funny as a Tetris game, mm -hmm. but really um, the whole point of Tetris Effect is that we want people to, this is where the gameplay is going to get really bad. I, <laughs> I have to remember all of my uh, my points about uh, the, the game. Um, it's new gameplay today, not good gameplay. That's today, right. Just to be clear. <laughs> is that good? Okay, good. You guys, <laughs> just to make, yeah, make it clear that that's the promise. Um, but uh, the whole idea behind Tetris Effect is to like make people feel kind of different emotions with playing Tetris. So like you would listening to a good album or, or good music or playing a, a really a good game, but not something you might associate with a puzzle game. Right. Um, and the way that we're doing that is, uh, you know, through the music and the visuals, but hopefully also the gameplay. Like um, the gameplay is, uh, as you're going to see there on the left speed level, Three, mm -hmm. that's going to go up and down. It's not just a climb. It's not just a slow ramp up to the top. Um, okay. It's going to ebb and flow along with the stages and the music and what's going on in the in the game and kind of what we want you to be feeling. Um, it's meant to be kind of like a roller coaster. Like a roller coaster, if it's just all the way up or all the way down, it's not going to be that interesting. But if you're going up and down and up and down, um, you know, timed to the the design of the roller coaster like that's going to be much more right. exciting well that's that's our idea as well so um 
So yeah, just to round out journey mode, that is the main mode of the game. It's the, um, it, it's not by any means the, oh. No, no. I'm sorry. Right before that <laughs> happens, that could, that could not stand. Um, <laughs> and I'm playing on beginner right now, by the way, which is why the speed is, is right. painfully slow probably to you, those of you watching, but to me uh, is actually kind of, kind of a challenge. Um, we do have normal and expert. Sure. Um, any stages that you beat, you do have to unlock the stages as you go through, but any stages that you beat will be open on that or any easier difficulty. So um, here's a good example of a stage where it's really obvious. So it's like a jazz piano, just mm. me moving the pieces around. And when I'm rotating the piece, it's adding to the background, it's adding to the music. And then when I clear my line, it's adding that like little horn uh, tribute and you can, you know, we've started to see some people kind of playing along to the music or kind of making music in a way that they're they're doing, you know, intentionally. Right. Um, so very quickly, we'll get the upload that it here is the uh, Mario 1-1 theme. Of course. <laughs> in Tetris Effect. That's right. Uh, yeah, that would be cool to have people play original, <laughs> <laughs> to make original music different yeah. from what we, uh, what we designed with the stages. But so all of the music is designed in-house. Um, it's, uh, uh, do you want to talk about the music a little bit, Miz? Like who you, who we worked with on it and how it was designed? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, artist, uh, it's a high dynamic. So, uh, they composed, uh, Resident Infinite Every X music too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, he, he's still young, but it's really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we have a really good music and the sound design stuff. Now. And he was with the team from the very start, so it was not one of those situations where he come in, okay, last six months, let's get the music in there, or, you know, oh, we have all this music, what track goes with what stage? Mm. You know, you can imagine from the game design, it's, it's, it's bespoke, it happens from the very start, it's part of the level design, is what's the music going to be? And so it would feed off back and forth the level design from the music and the music from the level design. Yeah. One of them would have an idea, it would contribute to the other one. Um, but yeah, again, like, you know, I, I could talk uh, a long time about like, um, we, you know, the, the, the thought behind having this this mode and, and the game overall and how, you know, we really do want people to just like, we want people to get out of their head is basically yeah. the idea mm -hmm. while they're playing. And then when they're not playing, we want them to not be able to get it out of their head. Yeah. <laughs> so um, like, a, like a good, like a good Tetris game or a good puzzle game will have that effect, but you'll be thinking about the gameplay, right? Like yeah. when you're going to sleep. We wanted people not just remembering and thinking about the gameplay, but also the music, the sound, the visuals, you know? Like yeah. you might have seen like a powerful scene in a mm -hmm. TV show and still be thinking about it later or like an, have an earworm, uh, you know, pop song. Um, Mark, are you describing the Tetris effect? I just might be, <laughs> yes. You can see how we got our... We got I mean. our name from it. Um, but, you know, if, if at the end of the day you're like, look, I just want a good game of Tetris, like, it's got that too. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You don't have to, you know, uh, see the face of God in, <laughs> um, in, in the Tetris effect to, to enjoy it. Um, you know, we hope people will. We do hope that people will uh, will respond to, you know, some of the, the choices that we made and there's, you know, like metaphors and stuff like that in there for people who want it but for people who don't uh it should just be a great controlling game of tetris and one of the the new things that we hope people will enjoy that i should set up a better grid here to before i show it to you is this uh this zone mechanic that we uh invented for this game so um here we go we're getting decent here so um we wanted basically a technique that people could take it or leave it you can mm -hmm. still play a great game of Tetris if you really didn't want. I wouldn't get in the way. Like pieces aren't exploding off the board, you know, by default and uh, etc. But uh, also something that if people did want something new, whether they were uh, veteran players, pro players, or beginning players, it's something that would appeal to the both of them. So what we came up with is a zone mechanic. You see in the lower left right now that glowing circle that says max. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been filling that up by completing lines. And uh, now I'm maxed out. What I'm gonna do is hit either L2 or R2 right after this piece drops. And that basically stops time. Pieces are not falling on their own anymore. They're only falling when I move them. And every piece that I complete, you can see, moves down there to the bottom. And so I just gotta complete lines as fast as I can. 
Uh, and that's going for bonus score. If I wanted to just, and then I got an Octorus, so I got eight lines are over. Um, when that happened, if I wanted to just relax and, and clear out a few lines and not worry about score, like a, like a more beginner player would, mm -hmm. not that I'm playing uh, at any level higher than beginner right now, uh, I could have done that. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, if you once you kind of get the hang of it or if you're a better player, uh, it's kind of a skill-based risk-reward thing about how high you get your matrix, how fast you can complete lines while you're in the zone. And uh, it's a different way of thinking about things because you don't necessarily have to make a well and go for Tetrises. Mm -hmm. It only counts however many lines are complete once you get knocked out of the zone. So it doesn't matter if you complete them Tetris, 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 or if you complete one at a time up to 12 lines, you're going to get the same score. It's going to be a nice high score with 12 lines. But um, so you, I've seen people playing, it kind of takes them a second to change their thinking. Um, like, hey, I can clear a line as fast as I can. Whoop it's going to move it to the bottom now it's okay so you can see this place is kind of the the climactic finale of this level and the speed for beginner got relatively fast this is still pretty tame for normal or expert but um but yeah so uh 27 stages in this mode alone um and, and are those like 27 stages is that like each in individual component uh, that we've seen here or like this Everything that we've seen so far falls under one stage. Like, how, do the, how does it break down, I guess? Uh, everything, you know, everything you've seen so far, this is maybe the fourth stage, maybe mm -hmm. the fifth stage that I've been through. So okay. anytime there's like a distinct that we go through that, uh, this tunnel here mm -hmm. of uh, particles, that's on to the next stage. Okay. Um, so yeah, the the requirements for getting through a stage, so then here you see you're rated. Okay, B, B is, I'm gonna give myself a not bad for a B for commentating at the same time. So you see there, everything you do in the game, you're gaining experience points towards uh, leveling. Mm -hmm. What that leveling is going to do, first of all, it gives you bragging rights as a, at like a higher level because there are some some uh, online functionality. There is some online functionality that I'll show uh, here a little bit later. But uh, also, you're going to unlock avatars and um, music tracks, and uh, we'll get into the other modes here, and I'll kind of show you why that why that stuff matters. Um, and also, uh, let's see, you got here along the bottom there, you see my records rankings back. So uh, my record, these are our, like our in-game challenges um, separate from trophies. We've got our own things that are gonna unlock different avatars, again, music, just like uh, the level progression. Here's some just for progressing through the levels up top. Uh, and you can see your game stats at any time. Um, so let's see, back, and then of course, we're not gonna internet connection right now. Oh yes, we do, that's right. Okay, so you're gonna see a bunch of uh, like testers and stuff like that, so you can ignore all these scores, but yeah, the uh, you get the idea, leaderboards for, for pretty much everything under every difficulty uh, in the game. So, so yeah, this is journey mode again, kind of the heart and soul of the game. Um, and I'm going to go back now, though, and show you what we haven't shown up until now, which is all the other modes that we have in the game. Um, so here you can see the different uh, difficulties here. There is a practice mode mm. that you can go into um, if you've uh, if you've got a level that you just kind of want to try getting through. The speed's going to be really slow. Mm -hmm. um, if you get all the way to the top, though, it's going to just clear off and let you keep playing. So. That's kind of the idea is just like a consequence free safe zone for you to, you know, no game over and to not mm -hmm. worry about that stuff. Um, now, is it possible to create like a playlist of like, stages? That it's you're not okay. it, actually, but we have a mode that is uh, a play on that idea. Let me back back out here and I'm going to go into uh, effect modes here now. So effect modes is basically our name for all the other modes in the game. Um, and so the first thing that we're gonna be uh, at here is the staging area. So here uh, you're seeing where we have our place set. I'm gonna change that right now because we're no longer in uh, San Francisco. But you can see us, see we're enhanced protest there swimming along <laughs> to the left. That's our avatars, that fish, we're level 15. Um, you can see some of the other players that we have uh these are all like weird debug names so you'll have to forgive that <laughs> but you can see like a few different avatars we can actually even 
fly around. This is kind of fun to do in VR. Um, yeah. Fly around and see what do we got here. Somebody's got like a little uh, eagle. You can find like so. This is where it's kind of a, a passive, you know, bragging uh, contest. Um, oh, you know, how'd you get that rare avatar and stuff like that. There is kind of a system here about valuing avatars and, and which ones are more or less rare. So um, I'm going to go to edit next here and reset our location to talk about this. So let's see. I'm going to say right about what? Here? Yeah. Am, sure. I, am I in the ballpark? Yeah. Maybe a little lower. Okay. How about there? So um, y your, where you can set your pin is anywhere in your PSN regions uh, area. And so there we are. And um, anybody else of the last X number of people, a few hundred, you can see some people playing in Tokyo there, um, are, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, you can see those little colored dots. Those are other people playing in other regions. Um, these graphics actually for the dots might be a little bit different in the final final code. This is near final code, I should also mention, but not final final. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so you can see there too that there are different colored dots. There's not many dots. Hopefully there'll be a lot more come uh, come launch day. <laughs> There's not many dots right now because we're just testing. But uh, each one of those dots is a person playing, and the color of those dots represents the the type of mode that those people have been playing. Mm. So you see there on the right, currently popular. It's like a global ranking of our four mode categories mm -hmm. and uh, and their popularity. So. Um, I'll get into that in a second, but just rounding out this menu. So we have in here, we're still in the edit menu. We're here under music. I don't have many unlocked because because uh, we're just taking this build out. But you can set the, uh, you can just use this as a music player, but also you can set the, uh, the uh, menu music here for anything that you've unlocked. It's a little more peaceful, low key one here. And then avatar again, also I don't have much unlocked, but uh, here we'll switch it to this like, uh, diamond colored manta ray which is not appearing over there case in point of uh the bug so that would appear over there on the left mm -hmm. um but there we are on the on the actual map um so yeah as you unlock avatars you can see along the top these different categories event is something that i'll uh, remember that and i'll get into that later but um these have different rarities and different colors um Let's see, it looks like there's 200 total. There's three colors of most of them. But um, anyway, just a fun little thing to, uh, like I said, to show off to your friends. And, oh, like, I, how did you get that one? Or like, oh, shit, that guy has is rocking a, you know, this avatar. That means that he's been able to get SS in every category mm. or every uh, event, uh, every mode, etc. cetera. Um, so we're finally ready to get into play here and see our actual mode. So. Starting off is classic, and these are modes that have existed in previous pet Tetris games before, right? So, marathon is a staple. Get get to 150 lines. Ultra get as many as you can three minutes. Sprint 40 lines. Master mode. Uh, this can be kind of funny. Let's uh, <laughs> let's just start this off. This starts at a at a really high speed and only gets faster. And the, the lockdown timing. You'll see me like rotate the pieces around a little bit but uh, the lockdown timing decreases uh, as you go along as well. I just want to clear one line <laughs> and I will be happy. Uh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get my one line. All right. Nice. So yeah, you see like these, they're just like flying down there. Uh, especially when one gets locked, you, you get screwed. But I've seen people are really good playing this and it's, a thing of beauty. I've seen somebody get to, uh, you can see there we're at speed M1 right now. I've seen somebody to get to M16. The level starts getting, you know, really reacting to it. The music gets uh, more serious. Um, the whole thing starts going kind of crazy. It's it's pretty cool. So do these, uh, does this particular mode cycle through the other skins we saw, like in the in the journey mode? It or does it? not. Okay, so, so this uh, is unique to this mode? That's right, yeah. So there's a there's a few more stages that are unique to the different modes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of the modes though, um, like I'll show you now, that's a D for sure, yep. For sure, well-deserved. Um, some of the modes let you choose all the levels from journey mode that okay. you've unlocked up until that point. So like Marathon, for example. Um, let me just go back. Uh, yeah, so if I choose Marathon, 
here it's going to show me all of the stages that i've unlocked in uh in effect mode or i'm sorry in journey mode and then once i do that uh in a lot of these you have other options so with uh with this one with marathon you can set the initial speed and make it endless or not you can make it not end after 150 uh lines but um that's classic the classic category the other effect modes we wanted to basically the the whole idea behind this was to say okay why are people playing Tetris, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what we kind of hit on, especially with this version of Tetris, is that a lot of them want to just relax. Uh, that's a big thing. Let's prioritize that. Let's kind of try to serve those people. Some people want to really focus. Uh, they want to really like concentrate and, uh, and be challenged and, and try really hard. Um, and then also, like, we think some people want something, you know, they might like Tetris already, but they want something new. They want to try something uh, maybe a little more fun, maybe a little more experimental. And that's our adventurous mode. So just to go through these one by one, relax is obviously a big thing with us with the Tetris effect. Like, again, all three of those things you're going to get out of your head, right? Whether you're relaxing or you're really focusing and concentrating or you're trying something new, right? Hopefully you're not thinking about your bills or like the you know today's twitter drama or like whatever's terrible thing is happening in the news today yeah uh et cetera, et cetera. like that's very conscious effort from our part we think that uh one of this game's real strong suits is that it is an escape and it's like a i mean i i love violent games i play a ton of violent games i'm a huge i uh, can't wait for resident evil 2 hugely excited for it but but there's a certain maybe mood that you might be in when you get home where you, that you're not even ready for that, right? Just a long day at school or work or whatever. And you just want to come back and just like, you know, st a lot of thing, a lot of people don't end up playing games in that situation, right? They just end up watching TV or doing something more passive. We're hoping that this would be a game that they could turn to to actually feel, you know, more relaxed after they play than when, than when they went in. Um, so the relaxed modes here, chill marathon is, is again, just a 150 line marathon, except you, there's no game over. If you, if you max out, it does that uh, effect. Like I showed you guys mm -hmm. on practice mode where it just clears out quick play, uh, is just choose any level. Like if you've only got a little bit of time and you just want to play one level, I really like that one song. I really just want to want to see that one level again. You can just jump in and do that. You can play any uh, you know mode once you've unlocked it in journey mode as well. Any stage once you've unlocked it in journey mode as well. But you know then you're in journey mode and it's going to kick you to the next st stage and expect you to keep playing, um, which you can always quit. But this one is just kind of a bespoke thing aimed at that. And then uh, to your question here, so these are playlists, kind of themed playlists. Mm. Uh, for example, here, playlist C is four levels that are all kind of aquatic themed. And what uh, what they did is add a custom soundtrack to all four. So it's one long track rather than something that changes each stage. Mm. And it's different than anything that you've seen up until now. So okay. um, you can also change the, the Tetramino order with that stuff, which is not a big deal. But these are all stages that do exist in journey mode. Mm -hmm. um, but again, yeah, it's just kind of a curated playlist for like a kind of mood that you might be in again under relax. So, um, so then now here we've got the focus modes, which again are like the, uh, I want to concentrate. I want to get challenged, etc. cetera. Um, let me show you a couple of these. So all clear is similar to a mode that was in Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, I think it's been in maybe one or two other games that you guys might recognize it. Here, it's kind of a, yeah, do this as fast as you can. Starts off very simple, like really simple in that case. Um, if you complete it, you get a little bit of time back on the clock, starting with a minute counting down. And really, it's just how far can you get. And, and once again, like the level, ugh, once again, the level um, is evolving as you're playing. So it starts getting uh, a little crazier and more intense when you can get further in. And this stuff starts off mm, really easy, even though I'm some still managing to screw it up. Uh, but does get pretty challenging eventually. Um, the color is always a hint. The color of the blocks down below is always a hint to what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, let's see if I can. Okay, yeah, this is still pretty easy, but you can start to see 
kind of where it might be headed. Um, and now here, you can see that I can see more of which pieces are coming next uh, rather than the one that we were seeing in journey mode. Mm. That's actually an option that you can adjust if you want to in any mode, uh, almost any mode. Okay, wait. Uh -oh. How does... There we go. All right. Uh, all right, now this one... Blue. Okay. So, yeah, you can start to see how the colors work as a hint. Now we start to get into... I missed it. Uh, T-spins. Um, things that are encouraging you to do these... Yeah. Things that I still have trouble doing in Tetris, but... Uh, okay. To be fair, that looks literally impossible. <laughs> <laughs> There is stuff that you can do. The setups, the especially having come from the the Tetris Classic Tetris World Championship, there's stuff that you can do. Okay, here I'm gonna do this teaspoon. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh just what? In time. So We're you, all proud uh, of you. Well, you guys, you know that I was doing it, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, it gets it gets really. If you're good at that mode, you get way farther than I just did, and you get to see some maneuvers that you're like, well, how you can't do that, but actually, no, you can with the Tetris rotation system. Mm -hmm. There are ways to you know kind of move blocks down. They kind of dance down these wells sure. that if they're shaped just a certain way, you can kind of manipulate them down there. So. Um, so continuing on here, combo mode, this one's even a little harder. I'm, this is kind of my weak point. I'm not that good at doing this, but a combo in Tetris is basically clearing a line uh, one after another, right? At least one line. So um, what you have to do in this mode is keep clearing at least one line with each piece that you drop. Um, and as long, I think that's where I'm gonna end, yeah. As long as you can clear one line, you don't have to clear the whole thing in order to succeed in this mode. Um, you can, if you're really good. Uh, let's see, there we go. And there we go. And that's not gonna work. And this one will. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Kind of get it now? Yeah, so there yeah. we go. Okay, I was able to get it that time. Oh my God, thank God I got one. I'm so glad I got one of them at least. Um, but yeah, again, it's a so the idea with this is kind of use the skills that you've built up from playing Tetris, but in a kind of a different way, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, like think about the the game and the pieces uh, that you're oh darn it that you're so used to uh, in like a new kind of novel way. Mm -hmm. So that one was different. Oh, that's there we go. And these are somewhat randomized. Uh, this is gonna be ridiculous if I manage to actually do this. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I gotta pat myself on the back for this because <laughs> this is, when you guys see me playing this in other uh, footage, you're gonna understand how, how proud I am of what, what, just, <laughs> what just happened there. Um, I know people who are really good at, at Tetris are just laughing uh, at me right now, but through gritted teeth. Through gritted teeth. Let's see what let's see what my what grade like? is here. Thirty three C. Okay, I'm so happy to not get a D. Let me just tell you, I'm I'm very very happy <laughs> to get a D. So yes, much 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 more room for improvement there, um, but you get the idea of the yeah. board. Um, so then we've got um, uh, target, which is very simple. I won't even complete this whole mode. I'll just kind of show it to you guys. A little bit. This one, all of these focus modes, if you you have to be really fast to get them really going, or play them a bunch and just practice. But this one, you can see uh, the idea is just clear that block as mm -hmm. fast as you can, however you can. Um, that like glowing uh, rainbow colored block. So so far, I'm getting a lot of ones on the ground level. Stop it but you'll start getting ones like this that are uh, off the floor, and then you'll start getting ones that are where two or more of the things start appearing, and that's where things start to get really interesting. Um, 
So you can be honest here. There's some kind of system in place that always gives you the wrong L block, right? <laughs> That's right. All exactly. Right. I yeah. knew it. And holds the uh, the I block from you when you need it. It knows yeah, yeah. when you need it, and then it knows to hold it from it's you. Diabolical. That's yeah. a Tetra secret that every designer who's ever made a game has to keep mum about. That's yep. right. Exactly. Exactly. I'm probably going to disappear between now and <laughs> when this when this podcast comes out, but. Uh, it will have been worth it. The Tetris company will come for you in the night. That's right. Exactly. Oh, uh, darn it. Come on. I'm actually... Maybe I will finish this out. I'm doing not not good, but not horribly. When uh, this mode is also kind of nerve-wracking because if you get... If you screw up and make a gap uh, that you have to dig yourself out of, you almost might as well start over because you're just not going to get, you know... Get the clearing time. You're not going to get any kind of decent time. Um, not that I'm getting a, no, not that I'm getting a great time right now, but oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, this stage two eventually becomes, it, it, especially in VR, this stage is really one of my favorites. It's, it's just gorgeous. All right. Well, new record does not really mean much because this is on <laughs> hey, the but, but the B, yeah. okay, that's that's not that's not too shabby. So what's the is SS the highest? SS is the highest. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So it goes D is the lowest. D C B A S. Okay. Double S. So um, now we get into some of my favorites, um, adventurous. Uh, so the the adventurous category of effect modes. So um, let's start with countdown here. Um, I'm gonna leave it off of endless. So this uh, mode, you'll see these like uh, shafts of light on the board there. I can zoom in, by the way, and move the, move oh. the board around a little bit. Um, so th that shaft of light represents where a uh, eyepiece is going to fall down. You can see drops left there on the left. That's how many tetraminos I have to drop until that's going to happen. So what I want to do is, as much as I can, try to build a well where when that falls down, I'm gonna get like uh, some points completed. Mm. So, um, and this one, just like all the other ones, starts really adding up, oh, there we go. I got a Tetris this time. Um, starts really compounding when you get two or three uh, shafts, two or three uh, eye blocks that are gonna fall down at once. You have to start thinking much more strategically and if you get a little too excited and just start to fill up things too fast like you can top out really easy um just sitting there waiting for the for the right eye block place mm -hmm. to fall so sometimes you just have to kind of like cut your losses um so just one more way to kind of okay now think of the tetris board a little bit differently than you might be otherwise um and the scoring here is heavily prioritized on what that eyepiece is doing. So, you know, you can, you're, I'm getting points for doing normal Tetris things, but I'm getting a ton more points when I'm doing things with that, with that eyepiece. Um, let me see if I can get it up to at least uh, two of them at once. Miz, do you want to talk about while I try to actually do something good here. Do you want to um, talk about kind of the uh, the idea behind some of the effect modes, or what what uh, what you were thinking with uh, with designing them, what the purpose of them is, that sort of stuff? Yeah. So we we wanted to um, make a mini type of effect mode, and we tried that. Um, we tried many. And we wasted many. <laughs> <laughs> I would say wasted. Uh, yeah. I mean, we threw them away. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. wasted a lot of time. Yes, a lot yeah. of time was spent. Yeah. So we did uh, many <laughs> challenges. You yeah. Know, uh, very, you know, many good challenges. Um, yeah. Remember that kind of uh, the test? Yeah, we had some crazy. I mean, we ended up with, I think, some crazy ones, but we had some crazy ones things that we were trying it was really okay here's two at once so it was really a iterative process it was um at a certain point especially with the adventurous modes we just opened it up to the team and we said hey uh who has any idea you know you've been working on tetris now by that point it had been uh, about a year yeah um yeah has, everybody had uh, ideas right many ideas yeah yeah that was a really fun process mm. 
Right. Yeah, the team was excited. I think that that excited the team too. Yeah. Um, because in playing it, they're like, "This is I'm finding this being really fun, or in VR, or with the music being timed to it, etc." Yeah. Um, Did you experiment with any modes where the colors of the pieces affected gameplay at all? Um, if we did, I don't think we did. Actually, that's an interesting idea. We did a lot of musical experiments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, combining with uh, lyrics and the words, lyrics and words. Yeah, yeah so we tried stuff with that as well. Yeah. Like where you were kind of singing a song. It was a little more uh, rock band, like kind mm. of esque, esque thing. But um, I mean, one that's that's. I mean, it's not really been done much with a puzzle game, but it just, we couldn't find a way to make it really mm -hmm. work and it felt kind of uh, gimmicky. Okay, I'm just going to top out here. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, in a way that felt really good and felt like it would be a mode that you would want to play up for a long time. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. That was another thing with these modes. Like, a lot of these modes are, uh, a lot of what we wanted with these modes and what I'm going to show you of the online functionality is we wanted an excuse for you to come back to the game um, you know, you might not be playing it every day or whatever. That's that's totally fine. But to come back to the game, you know, after weeks and months and 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 hopefully maybe you know even years later, um, for these like little bursts or like or, or or a certain mode or something, the event that I'm showing, going to talk about later is going on, and then when you come back, you're like, oh yeah, and you stick around for like a few levels. Um, so the final two modes, uh, we got purify mode here. Um, I'm going to set this to beginner because again, I'm anytime I'm talking, I'm going to just play <laughs> really bad. Um, so here you have these, uh, these dark blocks that are infected and you can clear them by clearing the row that they're on. But also, uh, every time you clear, especially if you clear multiple lines, you're going to send these little cleansing rays down that will, uh, clear additional blocks. So you can also do that with a combo. Um, so if you get good at this mode, which again, I'm not, um, you can, oh, come on. there we go. I think I'm going to get it. Yeah. You can, uh, you can really start, you can really play strategically and try to set up combos to clear. Wow. That was really bad. <laughs> um, set up combos to clear lines that wouldn't otherwise get it. Um, there we go. So you don't have to necessarily clear out the infected blocks before the next, you see that countdown of the next infection. In fact, I'm not gonna do it here. Mm. Um, you'll see what happens then. You just kind of get bumped up. You kind of get another chance. Um, the infected blocks multiply, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because you're after a uh, score here. You want to clear as many infected blocks as you possibly can. So there's a combo which sent another extra block down. There's a two combo which sent an extra block. Three combo sends two. So if you can keep that going darn. I just ended it. But if you can keep that as much as you can keep that going that's going to really help add your score. The background here is reacting to, to what we're doing. How many dark blocks are on screen. How well I'm playing. Uh, Etc. The music does too. Um, oh, let's see if I can set up a nice you know, uh, something over here. There we go. That's not bad. Combo. So yeah. Uh, again, just another way to think uh, to get you thinking a little bit differently about how you play. Uh, Tetris. I'm going to end this one uh, yeah. now. Can you get the idea with that? Um, any of these effect modes, you can do a quick start over if you want to just keep the same options that you set up and play the game quickly again. So here, mystery mode. Um, we actually showed this off at the uh, the World Championship for the first time. I think I'm going to let you guys play mystery mode mm -hmm. and not and not explain it too yeah, much. Who wants to play? Oh, cereal has got yeah, his hands yeah. shooting to the ceiling. Okay, so D-pad is the default. Um, okay. You can switch that in options. Um, let's see. For the level that you choose, why don't we choose... Um, we yeah, choose any ones you want except for that bottom row. So okay. any, any one that looks like a cool icon. Sure. There you go. 
So, uh, yeah, so this is a marathon based mode. So, uh, in the end, you're going to want to clear 150 lines. We'll okay. call it before you do that. Um, how good of a Tetris player do you fashion yourself? Uh, I, I would say I'm perfectly average. Okay. Okay. Um, it's funny. I can tell a lot about people cool. uh, having watched not good. so much Tetris. I could tell a lot about people, I think, now by watching them, just by watching them play. Let's see. What can you tell about Serial? Well, not, not, not too much yet. Uh, oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of one of the, one of the milder ones. Uh, so yeah, basically, like different effects come out. Um, I can tell you want to bring order to chaos, even if you okay. have to uh, to like uh, crack some eggs. I can see I you do. trying to trying to fit that piece in there. Come hell or high water. Um, <laughs> I don't appreciate you revealing personally and then find information <laughs> about me including my Tetris play. But so uh, every once in a while, every few number of um, yeah, every few number of drops. Now you got seven in a row, which is seven of the same piece. Uh, you just swapped one in and out, so it, it broke it up. But yeah, you got seven of the same piece at the same time. Most of the effects are kind of negative. There are a couple good ones. Okay. Um, there's one that actually like adds to your your point total. Um, but yeah, mostly they're to just kind of mess with you. Is it predictable when the effect? will happen like it's when it when an effect will happen yeah is predictable like it's that that flashing yeah it's after so many pieces that the screen will start flashing and then flashing faster and then it will lock and then the effect will come out okay um but yeah which effect is going to come out is random uh -huh. um there's some crazier ones too we'll see if they they end up coming out so, since it's so random sometimes it's just going to repeat same thing. Okay, oh, okay, there's a giant piece. Wait, what? <laughs> and the uh, diamond bomb as well, which... Uh, okay. Um, it's okay. If you don't clear it out, it's going to make for better uh, TV here. So, <laughs> yeah, you're so I'm learning about you that y'all are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Two, one, no! All right, so that just kind of makes life a little harder for you. Oh, okay. Um, you can diffuse that if you are able to clear the line that the kind of purple core is on. Oh, I see the, the center one. That will, yeah, exactly. That will diffuse it. Um, there's no shame if you top out in this mode, by the way. Okay. Do you want to move on in? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I'll concede at this point. You okay. Know, I was planning to go all the way. You get the idea. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that is uh, it for all the modes, and then I can just show you. Sure. Um, some of the the light online stuff that I was hinting at uh, before. So, uh, in addition to just like the you know, it's it's kind of like an asynchronous passive online features that we have. So you have again the other avatars swimming around or other players. There aren't many right now. Again, just because we're on a on like a test server, um, but the, a few more are popping in as we're talking. Um, but those will be your friends will be prioritized if you have mm -hmm. uh, other friends who are actually um, uh, playing Tetris Effect. Um, if not, it'll just be the last you know X number of I think it might be 50 people who are playing Tetris Effect. Um, what you can do with those uh, friends and strangers is uh, every weekend we have something we call uh, the weekend ritual which is a 24 hour event where uh, one of those mode categories is chosen so classic adventurous focus or relax uh every weekend it's a different mode for that 24 hours any uh modes in that mode category so let's say it's uh classic unfortunately we don't have the test server up right now so i can't show you what it actually looks like but you get a big message saying hey the weekend ritual is going on right now for 24 hours take part in any of the event modes. So there'd be a little like uh, icon if it was classic this week on all these modes saying event, event, event. Anytime that you complete one of those, you will contribute scores towards a total that uh, like the community as a whole is basically trying to like achieve that goal. And if the community as a whole gets to 100%, everybody gets one of those event avatars that I was talking about earlier. Mm. So for that week's, that week's event avatar. 
So like uh, around Halloween, it might be something that themed. Around Christmas, it might be that. You know, a lot of weeks, it's just some uh, cool, you know, different avatar that we made. But um, sometimes it actually does match like uh, what week it is in the world. Um, and the whole world is playing that at the same time. So that 24 hour period is the same, whatever time zone that you're in. Um, but it's basically timed around Saturday. The idea is that in, 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 in all territories, you should be able to play Saturday night mm. or, or, or most of Saturday day itself. But like the idea was that while everybody might not have had a chance to play during the week, if they could just get in on the weekend, take part in that mode, if the community clears it, everybody who took part in it gets that avatar. So it also increases if you reach 100% uh, before the 24 hours is up, mm -hmm. you uh, you increase the rare drop rate for for avatars if you uh, if you care about that kind of stuff. And is it your highest score, or you can keep no. grinding it out? In fact, yeah, you can keep grinding it out. So, and there are leaderboards for how much um, you know. There's like a, a stock ticker that shows who's contributing what and how much you've contributed hmm. is there, and you have a leaderboard as to who's contributed and and that sort of thing. So, the idea was to not to avoid competition entirely, but it was mm -hmm. to avoid any kind of direct competition with like shitty pressure or like that allowed for any kind of, um, you know, uh, harassment or like mm. teabagging or it was, it was really like, this is mostly like a, uh, cooperative a, kind a, of endeavor. Yeah, exactly. Like to take the good parts of, of, uh, online functionality and community and, and avoid the bad stuff. And this is like a personal, by and large, this game is like a personal single player experience. But we did want to give people a sense that they're not just alone in their VR helmet, you know, in their basement. Um, there is like a larger community, Tetris community out there, a larger community of, uh, of uh, Tetris Effect players. And um, and yeah, and just hopefully like uh, enjoy that part of it. Like, oh yeah, we're going to like, you know, get the goal this weekend or, uh, or not, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, like, uh, you know, hopefully people are also like sharing stuff that they did on that weekend on Twitter and things like that. Um, if the mode is, you know, adventurous, they're, sh they're, they're showing how they, you know, crazy stuff that happened to them in mystery mode or how they were able to, to uh, you know, clear, uh, purify on hard or what have you, any of that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that's uh, that's basically it. Um, you know, we showed the we were showing the game in in 2D, but again, you can um, absolutely play it in VR. You can do that that board zoom that I was doing in VR as well. Yeah, get it real big right up in your face. A lot of people yeah. like to play it that way. Yeah, and uh, I I, I kind of like doing that every once in a while myself. Um, just grab another level yeah. by random and. Uh, and just show you the the limits to where you can uh, manipulate the board are different for some of the levels, but uh, and actually in this build that are a little different than it would be in the final game. Maybe oh, mm -hmm. here's one where you can actually just like yeah, you can do the kind of monolith um, <laughs> effect to it. So, but yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. I guess last couple last things um, that uh, I think are kind of cool or at least worth remarking on or believe it or not in our options so um a lot of the stuff that you were seeing like i was mentioning the next queue you can actually blow out to four you mm. can turn the whole queue on and off just a lot of we wanted to give people a lot of options in terms of how they wanted to play if they want to play a little more competitively they can you know turn down some of the effects um as well uh, that's in the the uh, the other menu but uh, the left sticks, some people, I don't understand them. I don't pretend to understand them. <laughs> they don't like playing Tetris with the D-pad. They want to play with the analog stick. Believe it or not, they exist. Um, that This option's for them. They can actually uh, swap the two. Yeah, um, yeah you have your uh, initial hold and initial rotation are things that people only like really hardcore Tetris, like Tetris the Grandmaster. Yeah. yeah, people are going to play. That's like where you are manipulating the piece before it even comes out on the board mm. and so instead of coming out default you know pointing down it'll come out pointing left when speeds are really fast that stuff can become important so that's like a, a pretty hardcore yeah. option but here's so like what i was talking about the line clear effects you can turn aspects of the hood on or off um that sort of thing and then finally 
in our vibration, I do want to call out, we have some pretty robust vibration options. So we have a vibration track, but we also have, it matches basically like the beat of the music. Hmm. But we also have an alt vibration track, which is kind of like the backbeat to the music. So every uh, level in the game, every track has a main vibration track and a, and a background track. Also, the gameplay can vibrate. We're kind of into vibration on hand, yeah. as you might have yeah. known. If you might have noticed. <laughs> sure. um, gameplay has this vibration, the music has this vibration, music all has this vibration, so you can you can do uh, any mixture of those, pretty much. Or you can turn it straight off. I think some people will probably be like, like they were in Luminez, they're like, well, okay, this is just way too much for me. Mm -hmm. uh, please, I want to turn this off. Go for it. Um, we will not be offended. Um, we will also not be offended if you turn the second vibra secondary vibration on and put the controller, the second controller, wherever you choose. Okay. Um, but that is uh, also going to, that's like our trans vibration option from right. Res. That's just put it on the back of your controller. neck. And you can just sure. Get a little massage. massage. Yeah. If you want to feel that backbeat. So, you yeah. know, you could have the the gameplay to one and the music to another. You could have the alt to one and the, you know, music and gameplay to this one. Like, um, so yeah, that's just like a fun little thing. So hopefully some people, uh, some people enjoy kind of like an enhanced calling card. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. Well, fantastic. Cool. This is a whole lot of Tetris effect. We appreciate yeah. you guys swinging by. Thank you guys for having us. Yeah, I guess the one other thing that I do want to say is that we uh, we are having a demo. We're going to do a public demo. Yeah. Uh, it is going to be uh, time limited. So okay. once it's over, you won't be able to play it anymore. And that'll be available both 2D and VR? Both 2D and VR, okay. exactly, like the, uh, the full game. It'll have that mystery mode um, okay. from effect modes, and it'll have, I think it's three stages from the uh, from the main game. Um, and that's going to hit in all territories on November 1st. Hmm. And it's available that whole weekend. So November 1st is a Thursday, and it'll be available to the 5th which is a Monday, that Monday morning. Um, so basically we wanted to do like a trial weekend before the game comes out. The game comes out uh, November 9th. Okay. So it's like our weekend before uh, the game launches. Hopefully people will give it a shot and uh, yeah, hopefully like what they like, like what they see. Cool, excellent. Well, Mark, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Hey, Miss, thank you. Thank you. Serial, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Leo, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And thanks for watching everybody, we appreciate it. Bye.